Donald Trump is starting to lose allies. Donald Trump is losing friends and Donald Trump is losing credible people who are willing to go out there and push his claims of voter fraud. And that is, that is why on Monday evening, Donald Trump had to resort to, you know, going to the kind of the second tier, the second tier people willing to say that this election was fraudulent. And unfortunately that second tier contains people like disgraced former actor, Randy Quaid, who has been fighting legal problems for the last 12 to 13 years. Uh, he has had some very public meltdowns, some rather, uh, bizarre video rants that he has posted about everybody being after him and, and his life was in danger. He has now grown a very long Dumbledore style beard. Uh, but he totally believes that this election was fraudulent and he tweeted out the following. Um, this was actually not Monday night, early Tuesday morning, technically. Uh, so he tweeted out the following. He said, we've lost confidence in the system that elects our leaders. 79 million Americans believe the election was rigged. That's not true. Actually <laughs> the results fraudulent. We need an in-person only paper ballot revote, especially in the States where flagrant irregularities have occurred. No accuracy, no democracy. I'll get to all of the factual inaccuracies in that tweet in just a second, but after he tweeted this, Donald Trump comes out, retweets it and adds, are you listening Republicans? Yes. Are you listening to cousin Eddie Republicans? Are you listening to the man who had multiple public breakdowns over the last decade Republicans? Are you paying attention to the man who had to flee to Canada? because of the law breaking he was doing in the United States Republicans. Seriously, look at what's been going on with Randy Quaid over the last like 15 years. It, it's horrifying. You feel bad for him to an extent. Uh, but anyway, okay. 79 million Americans believe election was rigged. No, that's not true. You do have tens of millions who believe it, but it's nowhere close to 79 million. Um, uh, we need an in-person only paper ballot revote. Now, if you took out the word or letters R E for revote and just say, we need a in-person paper ballot only vote, you'd still be wrong. If we took out in person there, you might have something. We need paper ballots. We need paper ballots. Democrats have been screaming this for years and Republicans are only screaming it now because Donald Trump has pushed fraudulent claims that these dominion voting machines somehow messed up. There is no evidence to support this. But again, you modify his statement there and sure, now you're really looking at something in the future. We just need paper ballots, but it doesn't have to be in person. And we're certainly not going to revote the 2020 election. Uh, he continues, um, especially in the States where flagrant irregularities have occurred. There is no evidence of this. The Trump campaign has been given multiple opportunities in multiple different courts at multiple different levels from the local level to the county level, to the state level, to the federal level, to the Supreme court uh, uh, level. They've been given these opportunities to present any evidence at all that anything irregular happened in this election. They have failed to do it more than 30 times at this point. So can we stop? Here's the thing. There's a reason Donald Trump has to tweet people like Randy Quaid. Randy Quaid is not a credible human being. I'm sorry. I don't care if you like the vacation movies. We all do. But this guy has now become the character he was playing. In fact, he's become a person that the character he played in the vacation movies probably wouldn't even go near. That's, that's how mad he has become. And it's very sad to watch this publicly happen. The man needs help, but he doesn't need to be telling America what we should or shouldn't do with our electoral systems. Absolutely not. And the president of the United States sure as hell shouldn't be retweeting him as if he knows what he's talking about. That is how far the office of the presidency has fallen under Donald Trump.